Today, this is a new visual analysis of a music video called Atlantis by Afire. I'm going to pronounce it Afire. Uh, I never had anybody pronounce it, so I don't maybe it's supposed to be pronounced fire. I'm not sure. Atlantis by Afire is a music video released in April 2011, and also I couldn't find who directed this. Since the song is titled Atlantis, the music video simply follows that direction. It references the myth of Atlantis, which we first got by Plato, who wrote about it in Timaeus, Timaeus and developed it in Critias. So Atlantis was a superior city and ended up being destroyed in one day and one night by Zeus because of their cupidity, among other things. Zeus wasn't a nice guy, really. He was horrible. I don't know why Hera didn't kill him before. Since it was first described, the myth of Atlantis has been fascinating for us, and a lot of people have been trying to look for it, look for the city. And even if we haven't found proof of its existence yet, uh, in the music video, they found it. In this song, Atlantis is the city of dream and hope. Hence, in the music video, the trio is actually in the city. So since the actual city was never found, and maybe will never be because maybe it doesn't exist at all, we don't know how it really looks like. But for this music video, the people in charge of the set went into the direction that is the most taken, which is visible with the columns. You know, like the one I spent four months <laughs> trying to find this Atlantis is the one after the famous disaster talked about by Plato. We can see how it's obviously in ruins and underwater. In our minds, Atlantis is almost always an underwater city, like in Aquaman or in Atlantis, the Disney movie. I love this one. Even though in this movie the city is not absolutely underwater, it was at the beginning submerged and did fall into the earth. So, you know. The representation of Atlantis in this music video follows all the classical representations of the city, <laughs> referencing its underwater position and obviously its ruin aspect, but also its Greco-Roman origin myth-wise. The music video starts with shots showing us the destruction of the city because of a giant storm or because of meteorites among other things. Just after, as the trio walks in the background, a book is floating toward the camera, giving us the name of the music video, Atlantis, on its cover. Just after, we get several inserts of the broken head of a statue or other broken objects, showing us the destroyed state of the city. The use of color reinforced this aspect with mainly blue and grey tones. Blue is here because the action is supposed to take place underwater. The grey tone sent us back to the destruction of the city. Greek and Roman cities were actually full of color for centuries contrary to popular belief. Statues were not completely white as we can see them in museums nowadays. Most of them had colors, uh, sometimes a lot of colors on them. Even though we don't know exactly how they were positioned, we only get like white statues the way we think about them today, toward the end of the Roman Empire. So the absence of colors can show us how centuries have passed since the fall of Atlantis and the color have faded. Or simply, the people making this music video didn't know about the use of color in Greek and Roman cities and, you know, they just went with what most people think about when they think about Greek and Roman cities, which is white marble everywhere. The lighting is also used to give this underwater effect, which is reinforced by bubbles floating floating around, and the use of a fan making long pieces of fabric float around the singer as if she was underwater. These long pieces of white fabric floating around her really help 
giving this eerie and dreamy feeling as if nothing body or troubles waited. Here Atlantis is the city of dream where problems float away. At the same time, the lighting is also very strong in some shots, once again reinforcing the eerie aspect of Atlantis as an almost otherworldly space. There are a lot of low angle shots with the singer and musicians and it's a way of showing the greatness of Atlantis. The spaces used in this music video are very large and the ceiling is very high. The city is dominating the trio as in several high angle shots showing them walking up immense stairs to enter the city. The camera is not static, it's moving around the trio, almost floating. If the city is empty because, yes, everybody's dead, they are bringing life to it with their presence. In conclusion, Atlantis by a fire uses a kind of classical representation of the city and its Greek origins, but also adds an airy aspect to it, which is, you know, what I love. I've been fascinated by this song since it came out in 2011 so it's been 12 years and to this day like the song is very i don't know i just love it so much here atlantis is a city of hope a place where dreams can come true far away from the hardships of real life